are lots of new films, both on the screen and on streaming. And producer Charlie joins me now to break it all down. Tell me where we start. Okay, so first up, we have Zoe Kravitz's uh, directorial debut with Blink Twice. Okay, I did not know anything about this until the other day, and I've heard phenomenal things. What did you? I think? was surprised. I okay. was going into it low expectations. So I was like, meh. I loved it. Yeah. Great. Uh, story, I thought. So this is an R-rated psychological thriller. Oh, um, it takes place when tech billionaire Slater King meets cocktail waitress Frida and invites her to join him and his friends on a dream vacation on his private island. As strange things start to happen, Frida questions her reality. So this stars Channing Tatum and Naomi Aki. Um, Channing Tatum's best role, in my opinion. Okay, you know what's interesting about this? I don't know if you know this, but Channing Tatum and Zoe Kravitz are engaged. I did find that out after. Yeah. I forgot about that, so but that's I have heard that. very interesting. Also, I'm like, invite me to a private island. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, but honestly, I, this is Channing Tatum's best role in my opinion. Because, you know, most of the times he's like a goofy character, you know, very, like, nothing serious. Yeah. And so off the top of my head, this is the first one I've seen him in a serious role. Interesting, and, you know, okay. And I think he did a great job. Um, some other people you might recognize in this film mm -hmm. is Christian Slater, uh, Haley Joel Osment, mm -hmm. Aaliyah Shakat and um, Audria Arho Arhona. Mm. And also, um, interesting enough, I didn't realize this watching it, uh, has Levon Hawk in it, which is Uma Thurman and Ethan Hawke's son. Oh, we've yeah. only heard of Maya Hawk up to this point. Right, That's well he's apparently had a few small roles in things. I oh. was looking at his okay. filmography, very few things. But yeah. So uh, Zoe actually co-wrote and produced this as well. Oh my God. She started writing it back in 2017 and had an entirely different name, which I cannot say on TV. Okay. Um, but it's a very good sh movie. I think that most people would enjoy it. You don't want to take the kids, for sure. Yeah. And I will say there is a trigger warning that even Amazon put out like on Twitter oh, last week before releasing okay. it. Because it has mature themes and depiction, depictions of violence, including sexual violence. Yeah. So, you know, for some people, heavy. It, could, it could be heavy, yeah. for sure. But, I mean, I think the storyline is very good. Um, definitely some things that I didn't expect. You know, so yeah. you're, you're not going to be able to, some movies you can know the plot ahead of time. Mm -hmm. I think that they did a good job at I love this. I'm going to have to check this out. I really have become, over the years, a big fan of Zoe Kravitz. I really, well, really enjoy I was her. kind of surprised she didn't have a role in it. Yeah. You know? But I mean, also, good for her. You know, just because you're an actor and you wrote a movie, you don't have to put yourself in it. You yeah, know? exactly. So, so far, this has made $14 million worldwide and has a budget of $20 million. So, oh, most likely, they'll top their budget yeah. and be fine. Yeah. So, Moving on, we have The Crow. Mm. So this is an R-rated gothic superhero film that follows Eric, a man who is resurrected to avenge the deaths of himself and his girlfriend. Okay. So this is actually the fifth installment of the Crow, Crow franchise, which I didn't realize there were that many. I, I knew like the original it, so. 1989 Crow. Oh. Um, which starred Brandon Lee, but I didn't know that there were four other ones after that one. Hmm. Um, so this stars Bill Skarsgård and FKA Twigs, um, it's actually the Cole Crow series itself is based on a comic book series, and then there's some novels as well. Okay. Um, so this actually was like first mentioned back in December of 2008 that they were going to do this reinvention of the Crow. Yeah. But then by 2011 it was changed to a remake, and there were talks that Bradley Cooper was going to play the lead. Well, fast forward, blah 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 years. You're getting constantly. This is who's actually going to be in it. Yeah. This is who's all rewriting the, the script. It's just been all over the place. It's been in legal battles. Um, and stuff like that for like rights and everything. Yeah. So finally, we've gotten the version where we've, you know, gotten today. Um, I will say it is pretty gory and violent. Okay. So probably not one you want to take the kids to. Yeah. You know, it's R rated. Um, definitely gorier than I was expecting. Mm. So um, I and also in my opinion, it's an it's a decent film. Yeah. Would I watch it again? No. Okay. Did I hate it? No. But it was kind of meh. Yeah. I felt like they didn't develop the characters enough for you to care. Mm. You know, and. Since filming, Bill Skarsgård has actually felt uh, like distance from the film because of the ending. He actually said that he personally preferred something more definitive, and he felt like they had left it open for sequels. Mm. And I would agree with that. Like, I feel like that's a one and done kind of movie. You don't need, you know, even though it is based on comic books and novels, where it stopped, I feel like where it left was good. Yeah, yeah. So okay. so far worldwide, this has made 4.6 with a 50 million dollar budget. Hmm. So they're probably gonna struggle to get there. Yeah, you know. So then coming out this weekend, we have Gosh. Reagan, Afraid, 1992, and City of Dreams. Lots of films. Yeah, Reagan is actually like about President Reagan. Oh, so that might be interesting. Might be interesting. Yeah. We'll have to see. Yeah. And then streaming, today we have Sasqu Sasquatch Sunset on Paramount+. Plus. Mm, okay. I did not get to watch that one in theaters, but it looks interesting. We have to check it out. I've heard it's very adult, though, so probably okay. don't want to watch the kids. Yeah. The kids watch it. And then Friday on Peacock, we have the extended cut of The Fall Guy, 
that has 20 extra minutes of footage. I need to just see this to start. I've never actually watched it. So. It was a good one. I liked yeah. it. I definitely think if you haven't seen it, you should watch it. Ryan Gosling, Emily Blunt. Yeah, that's great a great movie. duo. Both great mm -hmm. actors and people yeah. as well. So, all right, anything else or is that all? No, that's all we got. This all time. right, well, go check out a film, maybe theaters, streaming, whatever you like. If you have any questions or thoughts, maybe tell Producer Charlie about it. Ozarks Live will be right back.